All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and we're here once again with Michael, uh, the world traveler, the world skier, the world uh, <laughs> world genius, uh, brave Jayhawk. Um, sorry for the last two weeks. We've been adapting uh, to, to different schedules, but we're going to continue. We're going to go straight through the end of the season, and fortunately, we still, we still have action. Um, so just to, again, once again, summarize where we've been. We started off with week one with basically fundamentals. And we had all these entries for both of us, resilient pools, and we've been tracking everything along the way. Um, I won or chopped a pool like pretty early in the season, relatively. It seems like six years ago, but it was only a couple of weeks ago, I think, um, for like four. Well, luck, lucky you. I've been stressed I, uh, out. Like 45,000, good for me. And then we've been following along for uh, with uh, with Brave Jayhawk for his remaining pool uh, for the last, like, seems like six months, but it's only been like a couple of months, I think. Um, growing gray we followed, hairs. We followed the industry a little bit. There was one. There were two pools which ended last, which ended last week, um, and uh, we went over those. Um, let me just uh, summarize last week, uh, and then in the industry, and then uh, uh, Mike uh, will tell how he did. He'll remind us what pool he's in, how many is left, how many started with. I mean, we have six figures, as I remember, uh, up for grabs with his pool. So we're gonna. Try to get that home. But before I do that, I want to shout out and went once again to the Discord channel, which really picked up the pace this year. Um, as a matter of fact, I mean, like one guy who's been pretty active, he ended up chopping uh, over the, uh, this past week or something like that, and another guy's still in. So you know, it's good to see that the people that have been learning are are, are still in. So I, I have to shout out. I shout out. I have. I have to pour one out for, for Mad Dog 2 or whatever his name was in, in Circa, okay? Because this is, listen, you guys all thought, you guys all thought you might have had a bad day gambling, okay? So Mad Dog, it, going into the Sunday night game, uh, had, whatchamacallit, had, he, all he needed was the Las Vegas Raiders to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers, and he wins $6 million all for himself, okay? Mm. All mm. for himself. Uh, no chop, no nothing. Okay. That, that was last week, last Sunday night. And it turns out or whatever. And then, then it turns out, it seems like so long ago. And then, uh, Pittsburgh with the rookie quarterback marches down the field, touchdown, just breaks his heart. Okay. But you know what? At least they're still in. Okay. Down then to four people, whatever it is. And first game on the Christmas slate, he goes down with Miami. So went from basically an 80% favorite to win $6 million by himself to zero. Uh, there's actually a video out there that details his his run and how his partners didn't want to hedge and all kinds of just ugliness. Um, I didn't look at Oh, my. Yeah, I didn't look at all of it, but it's posted in my Discord channel. You want to poke through that one of these days. Um, you know, I uh, about week eleven, I, I I mentioned this entry name as being like the favorite. With oh, really? Like 40, 50, 60 people left. I, I I went back and looked at it in the in the Discord somewhere, and I was like, oh wow, that's 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 funny how that worked out. And, 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 uh, and really, too bad. It's uh, you, you just hate to see that, um, especially somebody, the way it went down. Yeah, and for, somebody was live for, uh, for 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 big yesterday, but they needed uh, they needed the Chargers to. Uh, they needed the charges to lose, which they did not. Um, so why don't you uh, go over what what you did? How many have left? Uh, what what's good? Just give a give. Hopefully, with the last summary, or maybe one of the least last two summaries. So give me a summary of where your pool was, where it's going. I try. We still might have play. Also, keep forgetting. So yeah. uh, we're, 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 tell tell give everybody a summary of where we're at again. Uh, Star with eleven hundred. Uh, standard single pick entry pool. Um, unless there's more than one pe per uh, entry left. At the end of week 18, uh, if there are more than one person left, uh, it goes to the playoffs. If you did not take a team during the regular season, then you can take them twice in the playoffs. Otherwise, you can use them only once. Um, the teams, the relevant teams that people have not used so far, one person has not used Minnesota. One has not used Philadelphia. And one is not you, San Francisco. Well, first of all, I put up on the screen the uh, uh, the 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 run your pool summary of last week's picks. Um, 
that had the four surviving entries. One uh, one guy you saw went down with Cleveland. Uh, I um, I presume that you had the Viking entry, and yeah. it looks as though two people. Oh my God, two people, two people can uh, can bow to Tom Brady for the 80th time. Um, Never ends. And, I'm telling uh, you, and, I, and the Charger game was was you know Jeff Saturday basically throwing the game. Uh, like, Starting corpse, yeah, Nick, yeah. Nick Foles in the first place. Yeah. So, so, uh, so, what do you got? So, there's two, three. Well, well, first, I want to talk about what happened this week. Go so, the it. the person that had Cleveland, they had. I mean, not to say that you know Minnesota's not dropping to begin with, but you know, I had Minnesota. Um, the best they could take was Cleveland or around there. Uh, there are a few different choices they could have took Detroit. Basically, they, they they were drawing dead because every single team that they could have taken, other than Pittsburgh, lost. Uh, made it very easy. They, they, there's nothing really they could have done other than take Pittsburgh. Now there there are a couple of interesting things that did happen with the remaining picks. We were taking Minnesota regardless, and really felt that someone else was going to take them, and that did not happen. The person took the Chargers instead, um, which was fantastic. Um, the big surprise for us was that the person did not take San Francisco. And of course they benefited greatly from this for a variety of reasons. Uh, most of which being with Derek Carr out for the rest of the season. Now he gets, uh, oh. you know, he can take San Francisco this week, which really <laughs> sucks. I mean, this is, I am so, I, I am so over this. Like, and, and I, I, I'm really, you know, I don't know what the right pick is in, in some of these spots. I don't run the EV. We, we're just going on, you know, we, Jesse and I are field playing this thing, but you know, San Francisco, he could have had all alone. And instead he put himself on a group with Tampa Bay. And at the time, Tampa Bay was going to be, you know, a a decent pick for the next week being this week, but you know, they suck. So that point, that game's like, they came pick now. It's like a three point game. Um, So they put the reason their pick was poor. We felt was the other person was 100% taking Tampa Bay. I mean, there's no way they're taking anybody else. It was absolutely impossible. Like, I guess they could have took the Chargers, but then they're they're risking matching the other person's pick, which they would have. So it played out – the pick breakdown worked out really well for us, but it also worked out really well for me to be – the maximum annoyed and mad by the way it played out. Um, you know, obviously we thought we had it there when it, when it became a 10 point game. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't, I didn't price anything off. Um, my excuse was I was in Nevada and didn't have access to my accounts and I really didn't care anyway. If uh, it was so close though, if Tampa Bay did lose um, the pool would have been over. Um, yeah. We would have been heads up with, one entry that hadn't played yet. And we would have, uh, I mean, we would, I would have bet on what I would have done was just did a big money line on the chargers. And then, you know, that guy wants to chop now. So three of us, three of us are willing to chop. We're still waiting for one person, but I'm not counting on it. Um, so going well, who, into, who, are you, who are you guys waiting on? Um, not the person that probably, the person who's got, who's got San Francisco. Got San Francisco? Uh, that person's willing to chop. Okay. Um, which would be nice of them. I wouldn't do yeah. it if I were them. I mean, I'm not going to be upset if they don't. I mean, yeah, it's business. Cool. Um, I'm mad because the person who is willing to chop now should have been willing to do it two weeks ago when we had <laughs> seven people left. We had the same entry as me, but I wasn't going to spite say no. Right. But I was pretty annoyed about that because I think we could have got we, – we had a chance to get something a couple weeks ago, but right out the gate, he said no. That's fine. Um, this week's picks are very easy. There's one good lesson to be learned here. Um, our pick is forced this week. I, we don't have anything up there in the grid, but it's it's very basic. The reason I'm, I'm, I'm more annoyed is because with Derek Carr out – there was a good chance that we were going to have two people on the chargers this week. And that, that would be fantastic when, you know, just like last week with two on Tampa, it doesn't matter with this few people left, you know, unless they're like 14 point favorites, you just want to have, you have more equity if you are on a lone wolf team and then there's someone on a group. Um, 
but now the person should take San Francisco. So it, it, it should go one San Francisco, uh, one Chargers, and the last person is going to take Detroit. Um, we were going to take Detroit, but we're the now only you, now one. You can't, with, now you can't do. Oh, you're going to love it, though. We're the only one with the Giants left. Yeah. So we're taking the Giants because, yeah. well, we're the only one that has them. And, and there's yeah. slightly less to win. And no one's, no one's going to – and, 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 and you don't run the risk of anybody making some smart Alec play and dropping from San Francisco to Giants to spite you. You know what I mean? Like, Correct. <laughs> yeah. So it, 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 it's – it's and I like when the picks are this way because yeah. I don't care who I lose on right. for the most part. I don't care. Um, what I do care is about making the right pick. And this one is – there are no yes. – there's no mistake we can make. And, and for the last many weeks, we had decisions. Well, what if this person does this? Or what if this person does this? There's none of that. This is very easy. The money, the money line and spreads are, are, are a little, a, a tiny bit worse than Detroit. But who cares? Um, yeah. We're guaranteed a, a lone wolf team. That's who we're taking. Yeah. Um, it, it, and it can't change. We, we, we cannot take Jacksonville because – well, it's it's the it's the best team that we have for next week. Unfortunately, obviously, everybody has Jacksonville. Um, it it's not looking good for us. Let me put it that way. For we we had a lot of op, we had a lot of advantages in previous weeks. Uh, we are currently out of all of our advantages. We now have the worst entry remaining. Um, and that's you know that's just how it is. That that that's how it works out sometimes. But we're still in. Yeah, we got a we got a good shot and. Yeah. Uh, you know, if, if if we win this week, it's next week's gonna suck though. It's it's gonna suck bad. Um again, these point spreads can change dramatically with one yeah, week remaining you, in the season. You, literally, you really have no idea what the line's gonna be. Well, but I do know what the first 14 point spreads are, and they are not in our favor. I mean, <laughs> all we had to choose from is a six and a three, and everybody has the six and everybody has the three. So that's not good. No. Um no. You know, it, it, I, I, actually, that's not true. We have Seattle, and I think Seattle is a minus three right now. But, okay. you know, I think they could be eliminated from the playoffs yeah, after this you, week. Just, so. Just gonna have to see. so, you know, it, it is what it is. We're, you know, we're going to do the best pick we can this week. It, it's funny because we picked against the Giants the last two weeks. I'm aware. I was watching. And then we're, take, my, and we're taking the Giants I was against watching the team that we lost our circuit entry with with Indianapolis. So it's I, was watching, perfect. I was watching the game with my son, and as – you know, as they made the two-point conversion, I'm like, oh, man, Jayhawk, right? And then they lined up for the 60-yarder, and, and I got Matt, like, dying for the Giants to win. And I'm like, oh, man, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, was there, oh, by the way, was there tie, did ties lose in your pool? Yes, they do. They, they do. Oh, yeah. they really needed that then. Wow. I have been tied out before, but no. – not when it mattered. Yeah, um, right, 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 right. Now, that, I, I want to talk about that game because I, I like to admit when I'm, you know, my some of my, my silly superstitions. I was watching the game with my dad. And he, he asked a comment about um, about some question about field goals. He's like, did you think they were going to make it? And I said, I always think. In any, in any circumstance, I always think the kicker is going to make it. Whether it's for me or against me, these guys are just too good. I always think they're going to make the kick. Uh, regardless of how long it is, that's just how good they are. I there's nothing I hate more in Survivor Pool than needing a team to miss oh. a, a field goal to go overtime. And the first time Jesse and I won this exact pool um, in that in that specific year, I might have mentioned a previous uh, podcast. The pool was on Office Football Pool, and on that on that site, the 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 pool runner can set the settings in such a way so that before the picks are released, you can see what the percentage pick right. breakdown yep. is. Yep. 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 Now I, I played this pool, Eric, for multiple years yep. on this site. Didn't know about this until two and a half <laughs> years into the site. And I felt so stupid. So we noticed this at like week seven or eight. And I'm like, Oh, this makes our picks easy. So right. we only did that. And we refused some deals because as long as there were 10, I, I actually, I don't think I got that point, but we had a game where, assuming no one was going to change their picks like at the absolute last second, no one was going to be on this like Miami jets game. And it was like Sunday or Monday night football. And everyone took like the eight or nine point favorite that week. And we dropped because they were like a five or six point favorite, but we knew no one was on it. We just, right. we it right. was right there. It was 0% pick. So 
we took them and it was as painful as possible. And it came down to, we needed a missed field goal of like 48 yards just to go to overtime. And then we won in overtime and we ended up winning the pool that year. Um, that's, that's for me, that's the worst vulnerable feel, uh, position to be in. Like, it just feels so awful. Um, but the swings have just been massive this year and, oh. and like, and highs and lows. It's really been something else. I mean, just this past weekend was insane. Uh, you know, Cleveland is is down and out, and they are driving at the yep. same exact time Minnesota's trying to throw the game away. It's it, it, it's quite <laughs> remarkable. All right. Um, uh, first of all, that video you sent me was was awesome. That's the best thing. Yeah, I've friends. Okay. Yep. Uh, and uh, we will be. I will. Be, hey, we got you. Got a whole house rooting for you. That's good news. I appreciate it. I, I will. I will make sure. I was out of town. I I, I apologize for not uh, to to those out there. Not I didn't post in the Discord. Um, I was family trip, and we we, uh, we were able to get back on Southwest of all airlines last night. Amazing. If, if you don't know about Southwest, look them up. They've had a bad week. Um, but yeah. uh, I, I was also very moody from. Uh, uh the the tampa bay game that was i mean the i was so excited when i saw the pick breakdown oh i want to mention this too this is in, this is an incredible two things so my pools are on run your pool did you see what the mistake that they they made last week no what happened the picks didn't lock for the, the main slate oh really so they treated the Saturday games, which was the main slate as a regular Saturday with like two games. So you were able, you know, if you had to pick a game that day, but if you picked a game, one of the Christmas games or the Monday game, you got to wait and see what everyone did on the main slate. Oh my God. And then you could change your pick. A huge gap uh, office football pool. I had a friend in that, in, in one of those pools, they, they froze. I'm pretty sure all of them, but they uh, run your pool. They, they messed up. That's they, crazy. they treat it as, as, as a Saturday slate. Now, I wanted to bring up one more pool. The, the other one that I was in with, uh, it had doubles in 6, 12, 13, 16, 17. Okay. And I am so, I don't know who won, but I'm very happy that they won. Um, they, they, did a, they, did, they, no, they negotiated a three-way chop. Um, but I was, this is what I was planning for. Now, I don't think my entry was going to be as strong as theirs if, if, if it even worked out that way, but it's hard to say, but one person had, it was doubles this week. They had San Francisco and Buffalo. Good for them. And that, that it was awesome to see, yeah. you know, that strategy rewarded. It made me yeah. very happy. Yeah. The yeah. other two people that one had one person had Tampa Bay chargers. It was funny because you could have changed your picks. Uh, if you woke up on before they froze on Christmas, so everybody got knocked out of this pool. There are only like twelve people, but you had to have those teams because Detroit lost, Cleveland lost, Tennessee lost. Um, the only teams that won were Pittsburgh, and then Buffalo, San Francisco of the teams that you could plausibly take. Um, so it was really it was really cool to see someone that used a similar strategy to me for this pool. I mean, they really went for it. I mean, to have San Francisco, I never would have had San Francisco because I used them in week two. You and I both, I think, used them in week yeah. two. Yeah. I did not, you know, I didn't handicap how well they were going to play this year. I, I did not think they were going to play that well. Um, this person did, and it, it, it was it was it was it was good to see, you know, that strategy be rewarded. But another thing to point out is making sure you know what the rules of your pools are because if this pool was still going and there were say like 50, 60, 50 or 60 people left, if I, if I, if you knew in advance that you didn't have to make all your picks by that day and you could still take the Christmas games or the Monday game and you could see the results on Saturday for this, this, this unique uh, situation with, uh, with Christmas, right. I might've laid off the games altogether huh. in the morning and hope for upsets and then take like, the Raiders, even as an underdog, because you could have created, it was like that, that nitrogen example we talked about months right. ago, where right. you could have entered the pool and then got big value taking the underdog. If you, especially with double picks, you know, people, you can see exactly how many people are on these teams. And one person hadn't made any picks until Sunday. 
Now, their picks were made up for themselves. There's only two, three people left. They're going to take the biggest favorites. But, you know, if you know that a couple people have opened slots, the odds could justify taking a small dog in this scenario. I had no clue this was going to happen. I right. I was really actually very annoyed that they had a glitch in their site because it's just not – it's the, the main slate. It's, it, the whole thing's supposed to freeze. They shouldn't allow it to stay open like that. Yeah. And then after seeing that, Eric, someone didn't take San Francisco. So someone saw that, you know, Cleveland and Minnesota both had a chance of losing. And I'm I'm surprised they didn't take San Francisco as a bigger favorite compared to Tampa Bay. Right. And being all low. Not that 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 surprised me as well. But maybe they didn't notice it. Maybe they didn't check because they would they would have thought there wasn't that option. Um, so all right. Well, are you guys going to get it done this week? I'm taking regardless. Is, sure, uh, why not? is, is Danny Dimes going to? He's not going to fumble like he did against Dallas a few years ago. I remember sure that on that breakaway. That, that'd be rough. you know what? It's going to be interesting. You know the 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 Colts are coming off a really embarrassing freaking performance. Uh, I feel I great know. about. It. I, I think the spread should be higher. Just yeah, I don't you, know. You it see seems these... it seems fishy to me. I don't know. I, I'm a little. Uh, I'm I mean, just little, Saturday's done. Scared. I mean, there's no way they're going to let him uh, let him coach again next year, right? I mean, is, isn't the the trial period over? It was a nice little attempt, but I think um, so. No, well, go G-Men. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, Eric. Bye, bye, guys. Later.